Hey everyone, my name's David. I'm Ro. And this is Sweetie, and we are full-time RVers, which means we live in our RV year-round and travel the country. And of course, in our situation and for other full-time RVers, it makes perfect sense to, you know, do whatever you can to make your RV feel like home because, well, it is our home. <laughs> uh, but even for the typical RVer that only goes out on trips, uh, you know, a little bit at a time, we also think it's important for them to make their RV feel like home too. Just so while they're out camping, you know, they have a space that is personalized for them and also feels warm and welcoming. So in this video, we're going to tell you guys how to make your RV feel more like home. One major change we are so happy that we did to our RV is we reupholstered all of the valances around our RV, around all of the windows, all of the other window decorations, we redid all of them. And I love it. The original valances in here where they were beige, they had like a very obviously a camper-esque decoration. And while that doesn't look awful, it's very camper-esque. And so we wanted to make it feel very homey in here. And this was a project, let me tell you. It took me a long time because I'm not someone that has ever really done this before. But um, you can see I actually ended up keeping the original valances and the original decoration, like the original upholstery that's under here is still there. I just put this over it so that it would keep the shape and it would still fit and I didn't have to cut wood and do all of that because, again, not an expert. <laughs> so this was super easy and I really loved it. It has brought out so much character in this space over here. Just adding this nice pop of blue color, matching it to our bed sheets. It's just, it was so easy and it has really made it awesome in here. Something else that we changed very similar to this is we have a curtain in front of our bed, sort of the block off our bedroom. Um, and we've replaced that with this really cute white curtain with gray arrows on it. And in our bathroom, we replaced the original bathroom curtain with a gray bathroom curtain with white arrows on it. And, you know, just stuff like that really gives character to the different places in your RV. And we love it. You can also easily do something like this yourself to something like kitchen chairs in your RV that have a bottom cushion. You can reupholster that pretty easily. If you have um, like a dinette like we used to have, you can reupholster those cushions, stuff like that. Again, we'll just add character and make it feel much homier for you. An excellent way to make your RV actually feel like home, not just feel, you know, look like home, is to upgrade your RV's mattress. The mattress that our travel trailer came with was terrible. It was abysmal. It was like this thick only, just like a few inches thick. And it was, it had about the softness uh, as a block of wood. And so we upgraded our mattress instantly. Like as soon as we got our travel trailer, we upgraded our mattress. Um, unfortunately, we went with a very like cheap mattress. Uh, it wasn't, it was some random off brand and it only lasted a year or two before we needed to upgrade from that also. And what we ended up going with is a mattress from Mattress Insider and they uh, have mattresses starting uh, about as cheap as $200 all the way up to the like top of the line luxury gel foam, memory foam, wrapped in organic cotton mattress that we have, which is right around $950. Like I said, it's their like top of the line. Um, but for us, again, since we're full-time RVers and we sleep on this mattress every single night, there, you know, we weren't going to spare any expense. We got the Mac Daddy mattress. Um, so if you guys are unhappy with your mattress, definitely give Mattress Insider a look. We'll go ahead and drop a link in the video description below to their website. Highly recommend them. And yeah, our bed feels like home. Another excellent way to make the inside of your RV feel like home is to change out some of your furniture. And I don't mean all of your furniture, I just mean the bad furniture. So for example, our travel trailer is on the cheaper end, it's more economy, and so all the furniture that came in it, our u dinette, had really bad cushions and they flattened out really fast. And um, we knew that we needed some office chairs 
in order to have some very comfortable seating. Unfortunately, we needed a workstation and this is the only place we could possibly put a couch and so we ended up choosing comfortable desk chairs over a couch over here and we actually really like these. I love how stylish they are. Um, they're not very office-y, but they are office chairs. You know, they recline, they're, they swivel, and they look really nice, I think. Um, we got these from Wayfair. They were pretty inexpensive and uh, they've gotten a lot of use out of them. These are about three years old now. <laughs> so, you know, they're they're getting a little old, as you can see, I'm sure, but um, we really like them and we're really happy that we chose these. Um, these are really comfortable. Even after three years, I can sit in this all day long and it doesn't hurt my back, it doesn't hurt my butt, and it's really great. Now, not all RVs come with really bad furniture, but they do come with RV quality furniture, so even something that is really nice when you buy it, um, as you use it, it's going to compress quickly, you know, it's probably going to break down a little faster. If it has like a fake leather on it, that might crack pretty quickly compared to, you know, higher quality furniture. And you can find um, companies that will custom make you furniture in your RV for that size um, space that you have, as well as, you know, some weight restrictions you might have. Now, I know that some areas are hard to find furniture for, and that's definitely a challenge. Luckily for us, this is the only furniture we have in here besides our bed, so it was pretty easy to be like, we just need to find some comfy chairs, you know? And so this is what we went with, and again, it's a very easy way to make your RV feel more like home. One way to massively improve your entire living space is to do renovations that are more involved and more difficult, but will drastically change how a space feels. And what we did, you know, like Ro just mentioned, we used to have a U-Dinette back in this space. And we just hated it. Uh, the, like she said, the cushions flattened down and became extremely uncomfortable very quickly. We had no like back or neck support. Um, so I was getting tension headaches very often because, you know, we used this area as a workspace on for our laptops. And, you know, we, we will be sitting working on our laptops for, you know, hours and hours at a time. So we needed a good, comfortable workstation. And the dinette just wasn't cutting it for us. So we just tore out the whole dinette and replaced it with these butcher block um, countertops, actually, that we, you know, made into desks. And uh, in combination with these office chairs that Ro just showed you, gave us an excellent workstation. And not only that, but we really think that it beautified this whole area. You know, this birch butcher block, we think looks excellent. And, you know, we, we um, used these uh, hairpin legs to support them. And we thought the hairpin legs um, were just, uh, I, I don't know, we just thought they were very in style right now. Very... Um, like minimal but also cute sort of industrial looking and it just really tied this whole space up together and we think that it is now way more functional and more aesthetically pleasing than the u dinette and also the big thing is that it saved up this it saved or opened up this entire space um that was dominated by the dinette and it might not look like a whole lot of space because i guess it's not but when you're you know, when you live in a travel trailer that's only 24 feet long and doesn't have any slides, you know, j opening up any space makes it feel so much bigger. And we're so glad that we did this renovation. It has made just the entire living space so much more usable. Another thing that I'm really glad that we finally did, which for some reason took us a really long time to actually do, is hang up decorations. And this wall right here is actually the backdrop for when I'm live streaming on Twitch. And for those of you that want to come hang out with me or follow me, there's a link down to that in the description below. But we've actually had a lot of these pictures and picture frames since we hit the road. Like this one, for example, we've actually had long before we hit the road and it was hung up in our house. But when we moved into the RV, we never hung it up until just six months ago. So <laughs> we were just 
waiting. I don't know, we didn't really have a perfect spot for it, and so it was really nice to be able to put this up. I put some fairy lights around it to give it some more character, and I absolutely adore this little space right here. And um, for those of you that have been following us for a long time, many of you have already seen some of the dream catchers that I have made. I made these before we hit the road to use as decorations on our front door. This one's just hanging right here because it's been really windy the last couple days and it makes a lot of noise at night. Um, and so I really love these. You know, they're really cool. And then on our refrigerator, uh, <laughs> we both just had birthdays. So we have a bunch of birthday cards. We have some Christmas cards and then, you know, just some memories from our friends. And with this not being a magnetic friend refrigerator, I do have to tape it all up, but I'm okay with that because just having decorations on your refrigerator feels so homey. We had so much stuff on our refrigerator, so this definitely makes it feel homey. We've had baskets around our RV and our kitchen. We have some hanging baskets and our bathroom. We have some hanging baskets. And while they are used as functionality, they are also decorative and I really like those spaces. And then my all time favorite part of our RV that we have decorated is above our bed, I have draped some white chiffon with some fairy lights inside of it and when we turn them on at night it is a really nicely soft lit area above our bed we don't have the harsh light of the lights above our bed shining in our faces while we're doing something or getting ready for bed and it's just a really really nice area and it didn't take me that long it was it was a little tough you know i've got some screws in the ceiling i had to do some stapling it was a little hard to figure out exactly how i wanted to do it but once i got it done oh it's my favorite part of the entire RV. <laughs> One big undertaking you can do that will drastically change how the inside of your RV both looks and feels is to paint it. And this has been something that Ro and I have been thinking about doing for a long time now. We thought that if we could paint our walls white and maybe go with another like light color on our cabinets, maybe a gray, it would really brighten up our entire space because right now we, you know, with the dark wood and the uh, sort of like dark tan walls, it, it can just feel kind of dark in our RV at times and we wanted to really brighten it up. However, that is a lot of work and we have five pets, you know, two cats, two rabbits and a dog. And so we would have to find a place to put all, all of our pets while we're painting and while it dried. So that just, you know, all the pet hair wouldn't get like just stuck to the wet paint on the walls and cabinets. And so we just haven't done it yet, but we know that it would really change the feel in here and it would look awesome. We have seen other full-time RVers that have done this and it, it always looks great whenever they repaint it. It just looks like, it just no longer looks like a camper. It looks like home inside. And that's what we're shooting for here, right? One of my favorite things that we have done is we take care of these two plants. And while personally, I would like to have a lot more plants in here, everywhere because I love plants. Um, we know that that's just not possible in a small space like this. So having two small potted plants like this has been really nice. We put them outside when it's nice and sunny and warm. And then when it gets too cold, we bring them inside. And we have actually had these, Ign ignore how bad this one looks. We've actually had these <laughs> since before we hit the road. I was given this one. Now we've named these. It's okay, you can make fun of us down in the comments below if you want. This is named Perp because um, it's short for purple. When I first got it, it was purple. And this one is named Lola. This one is mine. This one is David's. And this one looks really good. I'm actually a little embarrassed by this one right now. Um, but being able to take care of plants, having them sit outside really brings the character even to our outdoor space. And when we have them inside, we set them up real nice in here. Um, and it just really brings that nature inside for us. And uh, just to give you an insight, this plant is still growing. It, uh, it just recently got very damaged from a bad winter and a bad fall, but... Um, Perps had some trauma. It's had some trauma. It's getting back into it though, it's fine. Another great way to make your RV feel more like home is to add area rugs 
in places that you really want to like have a certain design, have a certain feel or vibe. And that's exactly what we did over here in our like living slash workspace. We added this area rug just because we wanted something sort of white and gray. You know, if you've noticed, we really like gray colors on the interior. And I personally have always liked having carpet in living spaces, you know, like the living room, bedrooms, I personally want carpet. I feel it's just warmer and it makes a space feel more cozy and inviting. At least I think that way. Um, so adding area rugs to places will really change the vibe. And what we really like about having this area rug back here is it, it like actually feels like it separates our kitchen area from our living area because like you know you've got the line right where the carpet ends now you're in the kitchen and that feels really nice for a camper like ours where the entire camper is really just one big room you know it's separate separating the spaces is actually really nice and goes a long way towards making this travel trailer feel more like home and then smaller rugs like in front of maybe your fridge, your stove, or in front of your door as an entry rug will do the same thing. It'll sort of like spruce up those areas and just make them feel more homey. And one of the funny things we had to do with this rug to make it fit in this like oddly shaped space is we had to actually cut it with a uh, Stanley knife to fit this like odd shape in our back. It took Ro a pretty decent amount of time to do that. And sadly, she's gonna have to do that here pretty soon again because this rug is about three years old and it is really showing its age and starting to get some staining on it. And I think a new rug would be nice. So those have been some of the ways that we could think of to help you spruce up your RV <laughs> and make it feel more like a home. And for us, it was really important to make our RV feel like a home. You know, it really makes it cozy, comfortable, and inviting. And we just love it. And for those of you that have done other renovations on your RVs, let us know down in the comments below. Not only are we interested in always looking for ways to spruce up our yeah. RV, but I'm sure there are other people that would love to know what you've done too. But that's... Oh, that's all for this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. bye. Was that your bye? Was that your bye? Whoa.